Forgotten souls wander through the abyss, searching for someone or something amidst, beyond the blooming sucker as they wish. Grant us back home, Miss, oh Miss, we raised for your cunning gains, for you had us dazed. We wish to go back to our domicile, for our curses took weeks to compile. You've manifested our fate because of our selfish ways. May the next person admitting into this abyss decline the fall for their selfish wish. Slowly they fade, each by one. A new purvey has begun. For weeks and weeks all they could see were the victims complying to the witch's feast. The least they could do was ponder and stare, not helping without a dare. One by one the lists went on as the little victims suffered all day long. All began with a samurai in hand. However, the samurai was fooled and simply used as a tool. His daughter becoming the next fool, a mother often considered as a clutter, was a stew of all the chaos that grew. She desired for things to return normal, but instead, she struggled to take care of her little mortal. A daughter curious for adventure falling for a maneuver, a father who was impoverished and met his fate through a selfish wish, siblings cursed by a mysterious instrument with their talented skills. One was ill, the other had a will, a daughter distressed about her companion, cursed into oblivion, a mother agitated with everyone and her offspring. A sculptor captivated by the great rapture. A girl who fell ill, not knowing her suffering was caused from a deal. A village that fell for deception. The victims came and came. None were able to conquer their selfish needs. Until one day, the great-grandson of Kusanoki arrived. Forced to survive the hell brought by the witch within her black abyss. As to how he arrived in this, no one knows.